to begin with, I'll draw a sphere up here under Draw Solid Sphere, centered at the origin, about so big. Then I'd like to take this sphere and kind of squish it down so that it's more of a disk type shape. And to do that, I'll go, I'll select it, and then I'll go to Transform, Scale, Scale 1D, which is for one direction. I'll grab the origin point of the scale down at the center. The first reference point I'll just pick up here, a, a distance up here, and then the second point I'll pick lower, which will squish it down, kind of flatten it a little bit in this one direction, about like that. Now I'll switch to the top view, and I'll draw a curve, free form, started about over here, and kind of twisted a little bit up this way and out like that. And to adjust it after you've drawn it, you can select it and use show points to move the points around and kind of tweak them a little bit. Here I'll just kind of kind of adjust them a little bit. All right and you can press escape a couple times. Uh, one, one press of escape will unselect objects and a second press of escape will turn off points if they are on. Next I want to create a kind of tubular shape that follows this path curve. So to do that I'll draw a circle as a profile curve and I'll actually place the circle below the the rail and it's sort of away from it a little ways. When you use the sweep tool if you have the profile curve for the sweep away from the bounding box that's around this this path curve which is also called the rail for sweep if, if it's outside of that bounding box then it will become automatically moved and rotated into place and if it's if it's within that bounding box then you it expects it for it to be placed correctly uh, and it won't move it around any anymore for you but to create the tube I'll select the circle profile go to construct sweep select the rail curve right click is the same as pushing this done button up here this is frequently where you go to to say you're done with the stage or you can just right click and you'll see here that we'll get a tube. I'll go here to the options and say let's give it a pointy end so that it will, you'll see here it will start and collapse down to a point as it comes to the end and I'll right click to say done. Now we can just delete these curves, we don't need them anymore. And I will drag this arm to the left a little bit until it punches through the disk. Next I will go to transform array circular pick this center point again I'll say let's change that to 10 copies around right click. Now I'll select all these shapes and go to construct boolean union which will fuse them all together into one single solid. And here you can see there are some edge curves that have been created where these pieces intersected one another. Here, let's get another view on that. Now I'd like to use the fillet tool to round these sharp edges and create a more smooth, smooth shape of the whole thing. And what you select will control what gets rounded with the fillet tool. So for instance if you select one edge just this edge will get rounded. In this case I'll select the entire shape so that all sharp edges of the whole solid will get rounded. So to perform the fillet I'll go to construct fillet. Now at this point you can type in a radius and you usually will want to start with a fairly small radius because if you use a large radius you know all the pieces will start to run into each other um, which will, won't create a good result. You usually want to start a little small and then increase up a little bit instead of starting really big. Really big will be, won't fit in here a lot of times. So you can either type a small value in, for instance I'll type 0 0.5 right now and as soon as you type 
your characters will go up here and you can push enter. That's one way to to insert a, to specify a radius. And uh, the other way that you can specify a radius is by picking two points here in the viewport and then the distance between these two points is what will be used as the fillet radius. So for instance I'll click one point here and then as I move away you can see this number up here will change. That radius uh, is the distance between the first point I clicked and the second point I clicked. And I'll go a little bit larger than my first typed in entry. Let's try that. And maybe I'll go even just a little tiny bit larger than that. And all right. So I'll right click to accept that value and finish the fillet command. And there you have it, one starburst, uh, sunburst kind of effect. Now, one of the concepts uh, that was shown here is that a lot of times you'll start with your model made out of different pieces like I drew a sphere and then I drew a sweep and then I used a boolean operation to fuse them together into one object and then rounded the sharp edges with a fillet. That's a very frequently used way to construct more complicated models. You build, you can build small pieces uh, none, each of which by itself is not so complicated but then combine them into a larger construct and as you, if I spent more time I could carve out little pieces and make this a lot more elaborate. So there you go.